my name is Dude, and welcome back to Light! Alright. Uh, we last left off, uh, we went to bed or something. And now we're awake, and now we gotta go do things. And at least strikes again. Who's the Phantom Thief? We need to explore in the hotel place at night and figure out what the hell that dripping is! Hello? Can't talk to you. Probably for a good reason. Cause that would be creepy as fuck. There's more children sleeping. Or people sleeping, rather. Why am I able to walk through these places? Uh... I was checking here. I think it was this. Um... You look like the sheep kid. Or a sheep. And you look like the hotel owner or whatever. The whippy lady. You are not the whippy lady. You are somebody who has big thing. I don't know. Big forehead? Big boobs? Probably the big boobs. The big boob lady. Hello? Oh, hello. What? What? Why would I attack a little harmless rat? It's mean. I can just do that. I'm allowed to fight the rat over and over again? Why would I do that? That's terrible. Do they have anything? Do they have anything for me? No, just money. Okay, apparently I got an achievement for that. Okay, cool. Um, that looked like it moved for a second. It probably didn't move and it was just my imagination, but okay. I'm watching it though. So far there's nothing, mostly because I haven't been to the, uh, the chapel area, the stage. Now we go to the stage and find all these rats. What is with the rats? Eh? Um... What? What? Someone died again, didn't they? Someone's dead. Um... Is that a dead guy? I gotta call someone. Yeah, you do! Is he dead? No, not dead. He's just knocked out. Next show is signs of a strangling. But how? What? How? What now? Well, it's the dead of night. The man's here and everyone's probably sleeping. Since he's not dead, I don't really need to hurry to tell them anything. Really? Why not? If we leave him here, whoever crucified him might come back to finish him off. Guess we'll keep him in our room till morning. I'll carry him. Grab his, and grab his necktie. Okay! So, he's still alive. Okay, good. Sleepy. Let's find the manager and report this to her. Okay. So the manager was in one of the bedrooms, but probably isn't there anymore, so... Manager? Oh, manager! Why are you not in... <sighs> okay. You're probably in your room having breakfast or some shit. So, in here? Yes, okay. Yes. I want to talk. See, last night, that someone got crucified. Not like nailed crucified, but like tied. They're, they're not bloody. It happened again. Again? Similar things have happened several times before. But the man does have a certain personality, after all. One can call it karma. First things first, we'll decide to. We'll ask him for details directly. Of course. Mr. Lucas is sleeping in my room. Understood. I'll go ahead and wake Lucas up. Okay. This is the kid. He's asleep. This is the sheep kid. I wonder what he's been doing, if anything. The name of the game is like the, the thing that eats dreams or something. So there we go. Let's talk to Lucas, first of all. Oh, I thought you were going to do it. Hey, morning. Good morning, Mr. Lucas. So, do you know who put up, who put you up on that cross? Oh, uh, I don't know about that. I can't remember. I just vaguely recall being strangled, maybe. As I thought. You did say this had happened before. Oh, Sophie, dear. You told this punk about it? Lucas, must I remind you to not to call me that? Oh, right, right. Sorry. I know, I just let it slip. Don't get mad. Is this the third time being strangled and crucified? It's the fifth. See? Can't remember nothing. We're going to contact the police this time. Hey now, Mr. Manager. It's not like I'm hurt or nothing. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Something tells me your ex is doing that. 
Just a hunch. Just a little bit of a hunch. Considering your ex stabbed you in the chest or stomach a few times, you never contacted anyone about this before? Well, Lucas getting stabbed and strangled is almost an everyday occurrence. <laughs> okay, fine! Whatever! We're never particularly worried. But the same incident repeating is something new. It'll be too late to look into something... to it. Uh, it'll be too late to look into once he's died from it. Don't talk like that, I'm right here, you know. Well, then I'll place the call. We'll be closing the resort for today. Take the day off. Okay. Maybe I should talk with him again. Uh, just in case, I'm gonna save. You sure can't play the part of somebody you're not, huh? What? Oh, think nothing of it. Just found it funny. You don't remember a thing? All the times this had happened? Just like I told you, that part of my memory is just gone. I wonder who this is the culprit. Well... I think I know who the culprit is, but I wonder why they're doing it. No ideas. Or actually, more like there's way too many candidates to narrow it down. I'm a real sinful guy. You ought to take the punishment. Don't go talking like Sophie now. But yeah, I don't think you're gonna get much useful info out of me. I've never been able to remember nothing at all, all the other times, I say. What, gonna say you're actually a detective or something now? It always has to be a liar in these situations. That runt there eats them. Just take a week tops. Oh, I see. I was wondering about that. Kid seems real fine of you. But how about you? If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't be leading her around everywhere. What? Oh, just that looked like you were enjoying yourself. Oh, really? Still feeling a little sluggish, so I'll be going to my room. I think you ought to take care of yourself a little more first. Why? Thank you. I'll take the good steaks and nuts. Oh, I left my memo book in my old clothes. Let's see, what can I write on? These tissues should do the job. Alright, time to walk to the others. Should I take you anywhere? I guess not. Probably would have made the most sense. Uh, let's save so I don't have to go through that whole line of text again. Um. Yeah, my throat is weird. Uh, uh. See nothing here. Good. More crucifixions. And nothing there. Okay. So I guess I gotta go question people. Who is somebody I can question? Who can tell one question? Hello, are you somebody I can question? Oh, no you're not. You're the you're elite. You're that dude. Okay. Need to go here. It seems as though things are getting serious. I'd like to ask you if you know anything about this, but oh, did someone ask you, you to do so? Yeah, she said it look, could be awful for Mr. Lucas if this continues. The resort is closed for today, so she asked me to assist. I see, I'm terribly sorry you got wrapped up in all this just after arriving. But I need to attend to other things at the moment. Did you come back a little later? Yes, ma'am, sorry to disturb your work. You look like you're just playing cards with yourself, but okay, fine, whatever, whatever floats your goat. Um... Speaking of goats, how about you? Sleep, cool. What is it? We're closed for today. Actually, I was wondering if you knew anything about Mr. Lucas. I'm sure you've already become fairly aware of his womanizing habits. He's always been this way. He's gotten him stabbed and whatnot too many times to count. Crucifixion is too good for... <clears throat> it's almost comical how beyond fixing he is. And there's a woman he's dating right now as well. Somebody's dating? That wouldn't be our own employee, Olivia. The snake woman in the red dress, you know. Oh! Oh! Why? Why would anyone date him, if that's the case? Are Miss Lucas and Miss Olivia getting on well? Olivia's a jealous sort. She's displeased to see him with other women. As long as she's looking, Lucas must not mingle too much with other girls. And as far as I can remember, they haven't gotten in any especially big fights. I see. I do hope this can all be resolved. I know. I'll do what I can to assist. I apologize for getting you involved in this so immediately. Tell me if anything comes up. I will! Relationship with Olivia. Feels like I'm starting to see the crux in this. Uh, there are still things I don't know. I'll ask her directly. I'd like to ask the sheep kid. See, right now, that's the thing that's suspicious. But then again, Hal doesn't know. Yes. Excuse me, I want to talk for a bit. That was fine. If I can assist you any. 
So that you're dating Mr. Lucas, is this true? My, so you've heard. Yes, it's true. I've been dating him for a few years now. Mr. Lucas is quite the womanizer, isn't he? Yes. Yes, he is. But I can't be... I can't put too much blame on him. Because that is just part of who he is. Were you doing anything last night? No. As soon as work was done, I went straight to bed. At least I think so. It has me worried how everyone is saying they're missing memories. It's been happening often? Yes, especially recently. Even a few guests have said they've lost memories. When did this start? These things became fre quite frequent around the time that boy showed up. Though cus some customers have started coming in explicitly to forget their troubles. Um, anything else you wanted to ask? No. Okay, I'll come back later if I need anything. But now I need to worry about that kid there. It's starting to get kind of complicated. It'd be really bad to have my own memories taken while I'm investigating. Damn it, I can just feel it. This is gonna be a pain. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. It's morning! Papa's gone. I'll go out looking for him. Uh. Oh, okay, that's how we save. Good. Cool. Uh. We'll save there. And I just realized I saved over the thing, so whatever. All in the episode here, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I thank you to T-Cower and Show for supporting me on Patreon this month, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! I need my fix of cat videos! Ah, oh my, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Says ass. Yeah, game about asses. Hot off, Mr. Butthole. There we go.